Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about Jacquard similarity. So what is similarity? Similarity is one of the most important concepts in data mining as well as data science. It has very practical applications such as content recommendation as of uh, Netflix movie recommendation and book recommendation and also tech comparison as in uh, plagiarism detection system. And what is Jacquard similarity? Jacquard similarity is one of the similarity metrics that compare how uh, similar two sets are. Uh, this is the uh, formula of Jacquard similarity. Um, the similarity of A and B, of set A and B, is equal to the intersection of A and B divided by the union of A and B. We can see this uh, formula in, we can represent this formula in uh, Venn diagram. Uh, this is A, uh, this is set B, and the green area would be the intersection of uh, A and B, is A union B, is A intersects B, and this orange area would be the uh, union of A and B, say union B. So we can also rewrite this formula in a more uh, simplified way. Um, let's denote X is the all the element that exists in both set A and B. So in both a and b in other words x is the intersection of a and b or the green green area and y is the element that exists in a but not in b in a but not in b so uh, this is this is y. From here to here is y. This is, uh, this is x. And lastly, z is the element that exists in b, but not in a. So from here to here is uh, z. So, so if we, uh, so we can rewrite the Jacquard formula, Jacquard similarity formula into uh, Jacquard of A and B is equal to uh, X exists in both A and B, meaning the intersection uh, divided by X plus uh, Y, which means exists in A but not B, plus Z exists in B but not A. So if, you, if we look at uh, this new formula, X is A, uh, is the intersection of A and B, which is the same as this one. And uh, below X is this area again, and Y is this area, and Z is this area, which means that X plus y plus z is actually equal to the whole uh, thing, which is in other words, a union b. So this formula is actually uh, the same as this one. Uh, this one is a bit more simpler and easy to uh, use for, for calculation. Um, and also keep in mind that the value of Chicago similarity lie between zero and one. Uh, the higher the value uh, indicate the 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 more the more the higher the similarity for example one mean um, like or or very similar and uh, zero means uh, different and it's uh, this is a the small value is continuous value, so it, there's a 
the small point that fall be, uh, fall between 0 and 1 could be 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.77 and so on. Uh, so this is the formula of Jacquard similarity. So now let's look at the example. So this is the example. First, uh, the first example is to uh, compare the similarity between two sets. So given set A and B, and then C and D later. So let's compare uh, how similar A to B. First of all, uh, we can recall the formula. The formula of Jacquard similarity is actually J of A and B is equal to X plus Y plus Z, knowing that X is intersection, Y is those that exist in A but not in B, and Z is what exists in B but not in A. Now that, first of all, let's find X, the intersection. Uh, 1, 3, 7, 9, and 11. So, from here, we have uh, five element that uh, exists in both A and B. So we write 5 over 5 plus uh, here exists in A but not in B, A. So only 1 plus uh, here exists in B but not in A. Uh, then another one. So um, the Chicago similarity of this uh, A and B is equal to uh, 5 divided by uh, 7 or roughly um, 0 0.71 I'm not sure we have to check the calculation later um, now let's look at another example uh, again so let's find the intersection uh, C with C and D um, 3 7 8 9 11 2 5 6 uh, 10 and 13 Actually, these two uh, set has no intersection at all. And then we can uh, again check out similarity of C and D is x equal to x plus y plus z. But then there's no intersection, so which means x is equal to zero, and the whole uh, since x is equal to zero, the whole uh, fraction is equal to zero and uh, which indicate that this two set C and D has no similarity or in other words, uh, it completely different. So now let's look at another example. Uh, this, in this example is a little bit different. Uh, this table is a small uh, mini animal data set. It has nine attribute. Each attribute uh, is binary uh, value. So, uh, which means that the, the value of the attribute is zero and one. And zero indicate that uh, it's not applicable or it's not uh, exist. For, uh, for example, um, the first attribute here, uh, zero means the the animal actually has hair, and sorry, one mean animal has hair. For example, buffalo has hair, and zero means uh, no hair. Um, for example, she can uh, has zero value in the attribute here, so indicate that she can doesn't have hair. And this whole table is called uh, sorry the whole uh, the concept of this attribute is called asymmetric binary attribute. Um, asymmetric binary attribute means that uh, the all the binary attribute that uh, one has more important or one is significant than uh, zero. So the value one is more significant than zero. It, in this case, it indicate the, that the animal has certain feature. While symmetric binary attribute uh, zero and one does not indicate the important or the significant. 
uh, take for example gender it could be uh, male is zero and female is one or female is zero male is one and doesn't mean male and female doesn't mean male is important than female or female is important than male so in this case uh, that kind of uh, feature such as gender it's called symmetric attribute because uh, zero and one has no significance over each other in our case um, it has significance because uh, one mean the animal has certain feature and zero mean the animal doesn't have certain feature uh, so the task here now is to actually calculate the similarity between uh, animal so that we know we can compare which uh, two pair of animal are actually uh, the same or actually similar to each other um, let's start with uh, by comparing uh, buffalo and calf so again re if we recall the formula um, jacquard similarity is uh, x divided by x plus y plus c meaning the intersection divided by intersection plus uh, what exists in uh, set a but not in set b then plus what exists in set b but not in set a and now let's uh, look at the intersection between um, these two pair of animal um, buffalo and calf first of all it has hair uh, then it has uh, meal milk then it has tools it has four leg and now let's look at uh, attribute that it that exists in uh, only one set uh, this one because calf is domestic and buffalo is not domestic and there's no attribute that exists in buffalo but not exists in in calf uh, we only keep in mind that we only take the case of one as I explained before for a symmetric uh, binary attribute uh, one is, is is more important than zero and then we can calculate the uh, similarity by uh, applying the formula k of buffalo and calf is uh, 4 divided by 4 plus 1 um, plus 0 so it would be uh, 4 over 5 is 80 percent or 0 0.8 similar then let's look at another pair uh, calf and chicken uh, then the first step is to find the uh, intersection so meaning that uh, the attribute that uh, both have a value of one in this case is domestic so both both animal are domestic animal uh, now and then let's find attribute that exists in calf but not in chicken So calf has four legs, has tooth, uh, has milk, but uh, chicken doesn't have that. Then find what has chicken has, but calf doesn't have. Uh, chicken has feather, has eggs, is airborne, and has two legs. Uh, then we can arrive at the similarity. Uh, calf and chicken intersection is 1 divided by uh, 1 plus so blue is 4 and purple is uh, 4 
as well would be one over nine uh, which is uh, roughly 0 0.1 or less than 0 0.1 but uh, for the sake of simplicity let's put it 0 0.1 uh, so compared to 0 0.8 previously uh, we know that uh, calf and chicken are not so similar and the similarity is only 0 0.1 uh, let's see another pair uh, now let's do chicken and ostrich uh, find the intersection uh, three feature has intersection and then find that it is in one but not another um, that's all we can uh, ignore the zero and then Compute the jacquard similarity, J of chicken and ostrich. Score to three over three plus two plus zero. It will be three over five. Uh, roughly, I don't know. I know that it's more than zero point one. So which means that chicken and ostrich is actually more similar. Chicken is more similar to ostrich than it is similar to calf. And calf is similar to buffalo than it is uh, similar to chicken. So this is how you use jacquard similarity to calculate uh, the similarity of uh, each animal given the data set is asymmetric binary attribute. Well, let's move to another example. Uh, in this case, we will attempt to um, compute similarity between strings. Uh, is, it is an example to replicate the process of uh, calculating plagiarism uh, between two texts uh, in order to determine that whether the second text is just a uh, copy or is plagiarism, plagiarized version of the first text. Uh, in this case, we will uh, see, uh, in this case, we uh, three string are given, A, B, and C. Um, so the objective is to determine, is to see, uh, is A is more similar than to B than, or it is uh, more similar to C. Uh, in order to process um, string, uh, it has, a certain uh, procedure, certain technique, technique uh, used to convert string into something that is uh, that makes sense for uh, uh, jacquard similarity. As you can see, that the formula is uh, applying on two set. So this is where uh, the concept of n gram come in. So n n gram is one of the NLP, uh, natural language processing techniques that split uh, string into uh, smaller substring that uh, uh, has certain length of certain length. For example, uh, you know, n is the number of length, so n gram. Uh, for that, if we see two gram, which means that the string has uh, split it. Uh, to smaller substring that has two in length. For example, um, the string Phnom Penh, um, usually when we uh, process string, we uh, tend to lower it down. I mean, uh, not we don't want to be case sensitive, um, so we don't do capitalization, but we actually simplify. For example, A, let's uh, write in another color. Uh, a Phnom Penh is actually equal to smaller p and o and we also remove uh, y space as well so Phnom Penh become like this then uh, if we talk about 2 gram which means that uh,
which means that the smaller substring is has a uh, length of two. Then it become uh, a set that has pH. Then we split by two. And O, M P, E N and H. So this is the n-gram version of the string A. You can do the same with string B uh, or C. So for C, uh, it would be Paris, it would be P, A, then O, I, then S. Okay, here is the uh, same thing, but I written it in a clearer way. So convert we convert set A into we convert string A, B, and C into sets, which uh, the element are uh, uh, n-gram. So now let's uh, compare string A and B using the kind similarity. Uh, as you know, as we seen before that uh, for the kind similarity, we uh, find the intersection, we find each then we find an element that is in one but not another and then we can compute the similarity for example if i want to compute just similarity between a and b so i will find start with the intersection um, this is different this is the same this is the same so 4 over 4 plus one plus one so each set has the one element that is not exist does not exist in other so it will be four over six it will be point eight similar so these two a and b is point eight similar and then uh, let's do for uh, a and C. So we want to compare whether A is closer to B or A is closer to C. Um, we can actually see with the naked eye that A is, of course, similar to B. But uh, how can we prove that? Right. Now let's compare A and uh, C. So if we look at this uh, A and C, the set A and C, we do not see any uh, element that is uh, the same that exists in both set. So very easily straightforward, we can say that the cut of A and C is equal to 0 over 0 plus the element in A, so 5 plus uh, the element in C, which is uh which is uh three so zero over eight which is still zero now we can say that uh string a and string b are actually completely different it's so not similar at all if we go back to uh the previous uh string the previous page so you can see that uh a and b has only one character that is different so in A, Phnom Penh, uh, with, written with uh, the letter O, and in B, Phnom Penh is written with uh, letter U instead. And for string C, it's, the word is Paris, which is not uh, nowhere, near the a and, nowhere near A and B. And uh, this is the real application. Um, uh, what we call naming convention. Uh, Phnom Penh is actually the name of the CD and often the name is written uh, in quite a different way uh, depend on the people and uh, it's very difficult to uh, if you do actually um, you know use SQL and so on uh, sometimes it's difficult to join uh, to data set because the name is now spelled in different way so with this similarity concept we can um, calculate the similarity between two strings and in a way we can fix this problem by um, knowing that 
these two strings are similar and we choose the one only one version and we can convert the other one to the, the standard one in this case we can map a and b quite easily so um, that's all for the example um, in this video uh, i hope you learn uh, about jacquard similarity and similarity concept in general it's very uh, powerful it uh, is important in data mining and data science and we have seen three examples start with the uh, set comparison and then a symmetric uh, binary attribute and last but not least the third example is string comparison and that's all for this video uh, take care